How did the A-10 get its first air-to-air -air kill? It was Desert Storm, and an A-10 pilot was flying over central Kuwait searching for Iraqi targets. After dropping six 500-pound bombs and destroying two Iraqi tanks with his Maverick missiles, he suddenly spotted what he thought could be two enemy targets several miles away. The targets were little more than two black dots moving across the desert, but he quickly realized they were two Iraqi helicopters, which a nearby observation plane soon confirmed. Knowing what he was dealing with, the A-10 pilot moved in. But as he did, one of the targets turned north toward Iraq, so he went after the second helicopter, which headed south. However, that helicopter was flying so low to the ground that he couldn't lock onto it with his Sidewinder missiles, which meant his only option was the A-10's GAU-8 Avenger cannon. That wouldn't be a problem. With three passes, he unleashed a barrage of 30-millimeter rounds that reduced the helicopter to an unrecognizable heap of bullet-ridden metal. 